Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today in this video, I'm going to talk about control. What determines the control of your quad? Um, because I'm only talking about control today, so I'm assuming that this is well balanced in terms of the physical build and also in terms of the uh, propellers spinning. So as long as this is all set up properly, um, the next thing that we need to understand is how do we control the quad. The throttle controls the thrust going up and down, the, how, powerful, how strong your propeller is spinning, and the uh, roll left, right and left, and pitch forward and back. Just, they just control the fine tuning of your quad. The most important thing that determines control is your rate. So the pitch, roll and your rates are separate from the PIDs. So you don't have to worry about the PIDs, we just have to worry about the um, the rates for the pitch, roll and yaw. But the most important thing is the yaw. If you look at my quad this King Kong Q100 and you have seen the slow yaw in my earlier earlier video and also I'm going to show you after this introduction video of the slow yaw and after I and after the setting change and how fast the yaw is going to be and how you can control it, control it. So basically yaw determines how well you can control your quad. So this quad comes set up with a very slow yaw pitch and roll of 20. So basically it moves like this slow. But our brain thinks faster and reacts faster than this speed. Because as you know, our brain can even process faster than any supercomputers in the world. So our brain goes faster. So if your brain goes faster than this speed, then you're going to over push your stick and but the quad will be having a slow reaction to your stick. So whatever that you put your stick to going fast, you know, going right or left, you're going to have inputs that are not corresponding to how fast your brain is thinking. So you won't be able to control the quad if the quad moves this slow. So you need to have a yaw rate that is slightly faster than how you how fast you react and how fast you think. So if you look at the quad for example, this is this normally this is how fast uh, I fly. I, how fast I control the quad. So I've been flying for a year and with the time spent on my simulators I think I probably have stick time of maybe a couple of years. So I can uh, control my quad at a faster rate. But then I discovered that with a, with a quad it doesn't matter how small, you know, like a tiny whoop size or this size, whether it's an X shape or H shape or dead cat or X210, it doesn't determine, you know, the, the, the rates will be the same. Say you put 70 on all the quads, they will move at the same rate even though they are different sizes. So I found that the idea, uh, your rate is around 70, which is the default rate for clean flight and I think better flight. So my theory is that your quad should be yawing at a slightly faster rate than how fast your brain thinks. Say for example you think your brain can work around 70. Uh, no, no, you, 
say for example you are a good flyer and this is uh, 70 but then which means that you now can think in a range of about to a max of about 75 so this will be too slow for you but 70 is just the right amount for any quads to have a decent control of the quad because your is the key to control if you have slow your you not be you're not able to control your quad properly so say for example you you want to turn turn you go a bit faster but then you can compensate by going back a bit but if you go too slow and you want to go here and then you push your seat too far to the right already then this one will not follow you and then you start pushing your pitch and roll then this will go haywire so my suggestion to you is that you set your yaw rate at about 70 which is the default rate and I have tested that with the magnifier and I, I like the yaw rate at 70 and I also like the yaw rate of this at 70 and that's I think should be the minimum yaw rate for any quad to have a proper control so in summary what I can say is that 70 is the minimum your rate that you can set your quad at but if you become more proficient in flying and if your style of uh, flying is more aggressive then you have to turn it up to how fast your brain can think so you just have to know and you have to experiment because you will probably know that when you move your state too fast if the quad can't follow you then the your rate is too slow then you just adjust it up but for normal flying for a normal quad for an average pilot 70 is the minimum rate that you can set it on so in the follow, following two uh, couple of videos I have the uh, maker fire uh, set at 70 which is the default rate so I'm going to fly that in the first video and you're going to have a look at the yaw rate and the next video I'm going to fly the King Kong Q100 at the rate of 20 that was the default rate that came with the quad and you can see the difference between 70 and 20 then in the final part of the video I set the um, your rate to 70 and you can see that the your is the same as the your for the magnifier at 70 and you can see that I have better control of the quad and I can make adjustment pretty quickly so hope you guys uh, like this video and please like and subscribe to my channels for more videos so until next time cheers